we are. It's another night in Iceland. Tonight is a foggy night, stormy night. Um, here in the West Fjordlands, and uh, on this dirt road going over this uh, big mountain that connects these two fjords. Uh, it's pretty wet and rainy. Um, it's sketchy, to be honest. But you can see out here it's uh, it's plenty light. There's all kinds of interesting uh, clouds and fog layers all sorts of interesting stuff. And I stop every now and then to peer out across the valley here to see if there's any interesting shots. You can see the fjord I just left down there. That's by Isa Fjorder. And uh, it's actually the next town over from Isa Fjordor. There was a uh, this tunnel that I went through. It must have been eight or nine kilometers long. Longest tunnel I've ever been in that went through one of these mountains. But those are over, and now we're on these uh, hills and these dirt roads that go through. So anyway, I'll keep going and see what we can find. Okay, I'm a little further up the mountain now. I'm to go, starting to go down the other side. Um, way up in the cloud layer now. Uh, it's more than a little bit sketchy, but uh, let's see what we see up here. Up it breaks up. This is a little too cloudy for photography, uh, but it's plenty cloudy for excitement. See right over the edge there? You know what that is? That is certain doom. So I'll tend to hug the right side of the mountain here, if y'all don't mind. We're now coming out of the fog layer, the cloud layer, heading down to the next fjord. Things are clearing up a little bit. Clouds are quite light down there. Looks like there's some reflected sunlight here. Maybe. Get down there and uh, see what we find. I have uh, Bell Canto and Anelli Drecker keeping me company on this ride down the mountain. Uh, up in patches, you can see little bits of uh, snow. They only open these dirt roads in the summer. They're too, uh, way too sketchy in the winter. I tried to go over one a couple winters ago and that was uh, possibly one of my biggest mistakes. Uh, but I don't, I don't limit my mistakes to any one country. All right, well, let's get down there and see what we can find. It looks pretty. We're out of the clouds by now. Cause I had seen you here the other Patches of brighter light down here. No sunlight yet. It is around midnight. Um, so there's no direct sunlight, but there are bright patches of sky that should shine down. It looks really nice down here. The water still has a certain blue. Everything has a nice feeling to it. There's a little uh, lonely house down there by the shore. Look at that. That'll be perfect. I wonder if the road goes by. I'm not sure what angle to approach it from, but we'll drive around the whole thing a few times to see what we can find. Oh no, more of these dang birds. All right, you know, try to take a picture. These, uh, these birds don't seem happy with me here. There's a lot of them, and they make a strange sound. I just want to take a picture of this uh, house. I think it's meant to scare these birds away, but it's not doing much of a job. Um, there's still no shortage of birds around here, that's for sure. Uh, actually, I turned around 
while ducking birds and saw that really cool scene over there. So I'll do my best to capture that as well. Um, I've got the right lens for it. I've got my 70 to uh, my 24 to 70 on here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so here's this thing I'm going to try to shoot. Get out of here, birds. My gosh, you dang birds. What is wrong with you? All right. Maybe I'm by there, Dave. I don't know. It certainly is uh, unnerving. My gosh. What is wrong with these things? Okay. All right. They're back. They're back. All right. Okay. We got the shots here. Now let's go through them and take a look at the Instagram. We have five exposures from plus two to minus two. Looks good. What we want to see is this histogram here sweeping across all the available light. And it looks pretty sharp. Um, generally, see how I can boost it. I'm not sure what uh, I'm at. Probably around 35 millimeter. 36, 37. Dang it, these birds are unnerving. 